We now know that evaporation is when a liquid particle gets enough kinetic energy to escape as a gas and that leads to cooling of the liquid particles that it leaves behind. So what factors affect the rate of evaporation? How can we speed up evaporation of a liquid? Well, the first thing is the temperature. The temperature of the liquid is important. The higher the temperature, the faster the particles move around and therefore the more likely it is that you'll get particles which have enough kinetic energy to break free of their bonds. So temperature of a liquid is important. The next thing is a, a breeze or movement of air around the liquid. So if I had a beaker of water let's say, if I have a breeze that's blowing over the, the water, then any would-be particles which are just about escaping but perhaps not quite enough, they might get, if the breeze wasn't there, they might get pulled back into the, the liquid um, to become a liquid again rather than a gas. But what the breeze does, it scoops them up. The breeze scoops up the, uh, the liquid particles um, as they're near the surface and just about becoming a gas, breeze gets them, oh, they're off, they become a gas. So a breeze will help evaporation. The dryness, the dryness of the air is also important. If you try to dry some washing in a very humid country, uh, it, it will take a long time because there is water vapor in the air which may end up going onto your washing and that's called conden condensing, becoming a liquid and that won't dry your washing. So the dryness is a big factor and therefore you can make evaporation happen much quicker in a dry environment. And third and fourthly, it's the surface area, the surface area of the liquid. And so you wouldn't dry your washing by just putting your basket of, of damp washing in the garden. You put it on a line. Why do we put it on a line? Because we increase the surface area of the damp washing and that means that there's more chance that liquid particles can escape from the, from the washing as a gas. So surface area is very important.